In this episode, we discuss whether as smart as Elon Musk is, can he be considered wise? His achievements in the last decade have been impressive to say the least, and with the direction his empire is headed, particularly when you factor in corporate social responsibility, there appear to be no equal. Elon Musk. Smart equals wise? Written by Gary Nardi. What comes to mind when you hear of Elon Musk? Here are 10 objectives to ponder. 1. Generate power almost entirely from the sun. 2. Eradicate the use of fossil fuels in ground vehicles. 3. Reduce traffic and time spent in transit by traveling below ground. 4. Prevent a more imminent collapse of civilization by encouraging larger families. 5. Speed up human-machine interfacing through direct brain connection. 6. Accelerate information processing and development through artificial intelligence. 7. Ensure high-speed network and internet connectivity at any point on the planet. 8. Overhaul rocket design and its reusability. 9. Conquer space through low Earth and geostationary satellite and station orbit. 10. Make the human race a multi-planetary species by colonizing Mars. More technical analysis on this in a follow-up video. The list is definitely longer as efforts on aircraft design, Hyperloop, payment systems like Zip2, etc. Haven't made the list. An individual accomplishing any of the items listed in their lifetime, would be considered a high achiever, with accolades such as the Nobel Prize, knighthood and so on, bestowed upon them. What Mr. Musk's empire continue to accomplish is simply jaw-dropping, and all from a logical, technical, and intellectual standpoint. As always, for brevity, we won't dissect every single achievement or even compare them. However, consider this observation as food for thought. The human condition. Most of the research and development areas mentioned are in some sense standalone, which is to say that regardless of human factors and behavior, the objective and its impact are unquestionable. However, in the case of points 5 and 10, namely, human-machine interfacing and being multiplanetary, the human factors are being seriously underestimated. History and current affairs firmly tell us, that human beings will naturally exploit every single advantage they have over others. The world has been in a perpetual state of conflict in one region or another, either through sectarian, tribal, civil, or international war, or cycles of conquest and empire building. In the case of enhanced people, they will almost certainly seek to control or worse, those that are not. Criminal masterminds will thrive with the extra speed of data processing, knowledge and understanding. Equally, with a colony on Mars, all the problems with humanity will potentially ship with it. Greed, disagreements and protests, crime, selfishness, differences with religion, discrimination and prejudice of any kind, are all prime candidates. After all the years of existence and evolution, we still haven't solved the scourge of racism, and presumably, the colony on Mars will be ethnically diverse? As we steam ahead to what some think is an inevitable thermonuclear or electromagnetic pulse war, which will potentially be a human extinction event on Earth, it is worth noting that any light conflict in a delicate society such as what will be on Mars, will almost certainly be an extinction event. Perhaps Elon is planning to be a total and absolute dictator on Mars, or certainly ensure an artificially intelligent machine in his image rules with an iron rod, where every minute brain activity and therefore action not in keeping with Elon's rules, are predicted, preempted, prevented, and prosecuted mercilessly, in order to keep everyone in absolute obedience. Suffice to ask the following questions. 1. If Israel and Palestine cannot resolve their differences here on Earth, will they be represented on Mars? 2. If corporations, business and the economics we teach in the most eminent institutions continue to put profit above all else, which is now ingrained in us, and is what Elon's company subscribe to in order to grow, what economic model will there be on Mars? 3. If people in government in various parts of the world see it fit to oppress dissent in the harshest possible ways, will that trade and way of thinking be screened out before granting a visa to Mars? 4. If Elon, having gone through at least one divorce and a number of partners, hasn't worked out what it takes to make a relationship work, 
How would marriages and breakups and the emotions that go with it be managed on Mars? 5. If Elon cannot get the board of Twitter to comply with basic requests for information because it may impact their valuation, how does he expect to persuade anyone on Mars who may hold a far bigger bargaining chip to make changes? 6. If one tribe cannot look another in the eye and agree to work together, will differing tribes be represented on Mars? 7. If people and governments of Africa will not unite, stop the corruption, theft, dictatorships, nor eradicate poverty, will Africans be represented in prominent positions on Mars, or at all? 8. If peoples of Europe, Middle East, Far East and Asia, North Americas, Africa, Australia, etc., will not see eye to eye in the United Nations to solve the multitude of issues we face on planet Earth, what chance does the Mars UN have? 9. If the elites, of whom Elon is effectively the wealthiest, see it fit to keep amassing more on the basis of a market economy, what ideology will be on Mars? 10. As faith and religion is by far the biggest contributor to values and way of life, does that mean there will be no people of faith on Mars? And finally, given that every star will eventually diminish, become a black hole or go supernova, isn't the real objective to live in interstellar space on something like the Starship Enterprise, complete with gravity simulating technology as well as the ability to harvest comets and meteors for resources, rather than on a planet like Mars? Perhaps it's time for Elon to put his considerable resources to tackling the human condition and mindset that has so far caused so many problems on planet Earth. What do you think? Let's have a debate. Share your feedback on our social media handles, at Other Run Bias, YouTube, and thank you for engaging with Other Run Bias.